So if you got one of these shark vacuums that makes this noise. That's the internal suction relief valve. It means you have a clog. And on these shark vacuums, they usually like to clog right in here and in here, as well as sometimes in the hose, sometimes right here, sometimes down in here. So to remove this, that's easy enough. You just pull it out like that, but that's not where the clog is. The clog is actually right in there, at least part of it. The other half is down in there. So I'm going to show you guys probably an easier way to do this. Now I can do this with tools, but most of you guys aren't gonna have the same tools that I do. So I'm gonna do my best to clear this thing out with normal stuff you should be able to find around your house. First of them being a broom. Not really much stuff in here. A little bit you threw it now just fine let's see how we're going to attack this so looking into the neck of this i don't know if the phone i don't know if the camera can see this or not but there's a ballpoint pen that's in the elbow so we're gonna have to try and get that out of there somehow unfortunately to complete this you're gonna need to get probably go out to the store and buy tools that you don't already have what I have right here is a very long pair of needle nose. Because you need to be able to get in there with enough force to be able to pull this thing out. Now hopefully we didn't damage any of the lining in this. So now that this is out, we can try and put this back onto the machine see if we can get a tool in there push the rest of this crap through Pretty amazing the reasons people will throw things away. Let's see what else is wrong with this thing. So I just cleaned up the dirt container. They had the filter in incorrectly. They had this felt piece on top and the foam filter on the bottom. It should actually go in just like this. I think I have an extra one of those filters somewhere. Let's check this filter. That actually doesn't look too bad. I've seen these caked in dirt before. I don't think this machine was all that old to begin with. So that filter's still good. Show you guys that the brush works. Unplug it. Take the body off and get the brush roll housing. And all I'm going to do is just pop this top cover off just so we can clean out everything in here. These really like to accumulate dirt, so we can actually blow that out with my air compressor. Probably make things a lot easier. So I'm going to turn that on make some noise. So in order to get into one of these, you are going to have to buy some tools. This is a Torx T20 bit, but it's for a security uh, screw and fastener. And that means it's going to have the little hole right there in the middle because these fasteners have a small nipple right in the middle of them. As you guys can see. So I'm just gonna pull all these out, 
really quickly and go over where they all are. Obviously that one, there's one, two under here. I'll show you guys how to remove these. We have another screw here, one here, and two more here. I believe this one will come off too. So I'm going to remove all the ones that we can see and then attack the two ones under the wheels next. All right, so to remove these wheels very carefully with a flat blade screwdriver, you're going to want to very gingerly work these two rods out just like that. And same on the other side. You don't want to overstress them, there's no need to. Leave that right there. Just like that. You don't break anything pulling them out. And we'll just remove those two screws. Just like that. And it just pops off. Be mindful of these wires. Be mindful of any switches and anything under here. This doesn't have to stay on. We can pull this off. But now we have much easier access to the brush roll. And of course, we can stick the elbow right back in here just for the time being. But all I'm going to do is cut all of the hair off of this brush roll. And for that, I like to use razor blades. Shark wants you to do this from the other side, but you have these two ingest bars that are right here. Those two things, they kind of get in the way. This is just a little bit easier. All I'm going to do right now is take this over to my air compressor, blow all this out. Uh, if you're doing this at home and you have something like a shot vac, you can very carefully with a uh, dusting brush, something like this, go through and clean over everything and you'll be okay. But for my purposes, I'm just going to use the air compressor. Be right back. So for these, clean these out, I just use some isopropyl alcohol. You could use Windex if you want. It's much better. There is going to be some uh, very fine scratching that goes on with this clear plastic, and unless you buff and polish it, you're never going to get that clearness back, at least to when it was new but you can at least clean a lot of the crap and dirt. It'll be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go back together with this. It goes back on the same way it came off. There's no tricks. And I'll show you guys if there's uh, anything that develops. You do wanna make sure that these wires are tucked into that little slot right there though. Definitely don't wanna pinch them. Now, if you have paint scratches on your plastic, a little bit of iso alcohol will remove that, but it will also probably remove these labels too. So. If you care about those, keep it away from that or minimize the amount of time that it's exposed to it.
So let's see if it works. Good to me. Not bad for free.